hello guys please give me a like in this video i'm going to show you how to allow the user to choose from the inputs as you can see on this one is you can just change in this input i made a video about that so now let's get there and make you choose like for example if i click here i want to show you an example with this robot you can see the inputs here you can put the inputs as numbers as numbers as numbers as numbers but there's another exciting things that you are going to see as we move forward okay there are certain inputs like this where instead of putting a number you are giving an option to choose to just pick so i'm going to show you how to do that in a simple way so i opened my my mt5 editor so here is what happens as you can see we have this type of input this type of input will only allow you to type in you won't be able to choose okay so let's say you have a moving average indicator and you want, you want your user to be able to choose between the 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 applied price and the sma mode okay so what you are going to do first thing there are something called enum okay enum are made for choosing you understand like you can see we have a lot of enums here okay so let's start here first thing first you are going to type the weight input this means that you allow your user to change this this is changeable as a variable and then now you put you can just type enum and choose let's say you want to do a moving average sma okay you want your user to choose whether it's simple moving average or all those things so what you are going to do you can scroll around here and then as you know it's enum what do they call it it's enum uh, let's let me go there we'll find it here as you scroll as you scroll as you scroll as you scroll okay here is a chat mode no it's not chat mode uh, applied price applied volumes okay so because i don't see it there i can just go to the reference it's very good to always learn how to use the reference okay so you go to context and then you go to technical indicators uh, moving our marriage you can see it says enum time frames enum method okay you can copy this and then we go to our we go to our robot and just put delete this and then paste in our method okay or you can just type it and then after this you are going to give this a name okay so that the user can read okay you can just say method and then you put this equal most likely you are going to give the the, the default value so let's say i'm saying my value is mode sma and then close it like that uh, let's read here so that we can make a sense of what's happening here so you are coming here it's what in our method and then you open please give me a like and then they are, they are giving you you can only have these values only in such a way that if you don't have the any of this then you get an error unless if you store this inside a variable okay you, you are only going to give up the values of this okay so now what happens uh, let's go back there you can only choose between these so as you can see i all i only wrote this but if i compile it inputs my robot now don't forget so i'm going to look for my robot which is inputs put it on the chart and you can see i'm give i'm being given a option here to select so i can select anyone that i want i can select exponential simple linear weighted smooth and all those things only because i've used this word in now once i put this weight it, it only allows certain options okay so i've never done this but let me remove this and just put it like this i want to see something compile no errors and then let's take let me take my input indicator so it puts you on a uh, on 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 a symbol you know symbol 
simple method even if you didn't put nothing so if i say smooth let me check if now okay let me activate it again i want to check if if yeah you can see the default value is simple even if i had placed nothing so what if i can change this and say in um applied price you know this applied price you can see now so and even if it's a method you will you will realize something when i go to the charts that the options changed it's no longer uh, you can see now it's method it, it changed it's no longer the, the 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 what we call the simple and all those things because now i've used even if my name is still the method but i've placed the enum applied price okay so we can just change and say applied price to make things simple so what matters here most likely is this is this is this enum thing once you say enum you can only allow a user to choose from what is already there there's no need to come up with something you can like like time frames there's no one one hour point five time frame so you only have a, a certain time frames let's see current you can see so you can allow a user to choose the time frame here default is current so which means you know you can just anything okay thank you give me a like and give me a subscribe when you give me a like you make me more